transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge, a legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Tragedy befell this place. Ling Shan Su Temple was a famous martial arts school in the far reaches of China. It was there Killick learned to master the staff after he was abandoned as a child. Killick ate and slept with the other students and began his training at a young age. Despite this, he established a family-like bond with just one other student, Shang Len, a young girl who was like an elder sister to him. Dedicated to the way of the sword, she looked after Killick as if they were siblings. So close was their bond that when one felt happy or sad, the other would feel the same. Together they studied and grew as warriors. Years passed by. Killick's skill earned him a place as a teacher, an honorable position for one so young. Throughout the ages, Ling Sheng Su Temple had kept hold of the three sacred treasures, Krita Yuga, Devapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Killick's years of arduous training earned him the title of rightful bearer of the staff, Kali Yuga. Likewise, Shang Len was also designated bearer of Devapara Yuga, a sacred mirror. Our story begins on the night before the ritual for passing the treasures on to their new masters. Shang Len, can I ask you something? Sure. How come you were chosen to bear Devapara Yuga? I thought you'd get after all. Kalek, but I'm going to... The Krita Yuga. 
it's no... The sword has been gone for more than a decade. All that's left is the Kali Yuga and the Deva... Real? So the one who stole... That's why I... If I were to accept... That's why... Of course, it's just... I just don't... You know what the monks say. Fate, Fate is, is carved. carved. When I spoke to them, now I can feel proud that I'm... Um, you know something... What? Uh, it's okay. Never mind. I'm really... Me too. But the night withdrawn by the Kali Yuga in Killik's hand, the evil seed came to Ling Shen Su, the monks. <laughs> what if I don't... I don't understand. Save me? Who are you? You have yet to recover from your injuries. And that mirror. Devapara Yuga. Uh. Oh. oh, Charlotte. <laughs> Have you not realized yet, Devapara Yuga? Evil! The old man proceeded to tell a tale. He told Killik about the evil seed, how Devapara Yuga had pulled Killik back from how Kali Yuga had the ability to absorb power, and, and finally, he. Your fate will be set in stone. Your soul will be swallowed whole. That is but one path you may. But perhaps it is to submit to that evil. Is that what do you see? Shang Lin. She told me fate is called. Shang Lin gave her life. That leaves me only one choice. From that day forth, as Shang Lin's slayer. If you the only reason you, however, all. Yes, Master. Is that it? if this to, <sighs> to control evil, mastering your. Yes, Master. The enemy is powerful. You must. Uh. No. Sometimes things. Re I understand, Master. Already 
at a loss? So, yes, I see. Matt, it is not. What are you? Yes, Matt. 